Hello everybody! Today I'd like to share three of my most useful Rust console commands. These three will give you advantages in every part of the game from building and looting to mobility and weapon control. Ready? First is going to be the lookout radius command. Look out radius? Look at radius command. In Rust, most objects have a certain radius around them, a kind of interaction bubble. Placing the mouse cursor within this bubble will allow you to interact with the object. Reducing that radius from the default 0.2 to 0.1 shrinks this bubble. Look here, see? And doing so is actually very useful. Case in point, these loot rooms. Yes, if you're perfectly positioned, nobody moves you, no lag spikes, and you can stand there to personally pop these boxes and time it just right, you might be able to loot them as the bag falls. Otherwise, these are considered unlootable, since the interaction bubbles of the bags are obstructed by the interaction bubble of the shelf. However, if you set look at radius to 0.1, the shelf's bubble is reduced. You can be a lot more precise with your pointer, and these become easily lootable. Likewise, it's very helpful when building. At default settings, upgrading the walls here is no problem. But when it comes to the ceiling and foundation, the TC itself obstructs you from upgrading. Set look at radius to 0.1, however, and easy peasy lemon squeezy, as my second favorite Rust YouTuber would say. There is also some niche utility for increasing look at radius since it also makes you able to interact with objects from a greater distance. So if you're trying to find a fallen gun down here, it makes it a little easier potentially. Also when running in the wild, increasing look at radius makes for easier mushroom picking on the go. But uh, I just set mine to 0.1 and forget about it. Now myself, as a solo, I love small tight bases that are super cost efficient with great offline protection. I also like flooring my bases with boxes, because why not? Unfortunately, making jumps like this in Rust is really, really annoying. Therefore, physics step 60. This command simply makes you jump a bit higher, and is necessary for making the more pro-Rust parkour jumps around the game world, but it's also perfect for making these tight little jumps lemon squeezy level easy. And if it still isn't perfect for you, add this command, which makes your model crouch whenever its head touches something, making all sorts of jumps in Rust even easier. Last for today, my favorite command is a mouse attack bind to regulate input sensitivity. See, to get good recoil control and aim in general, low sensitivity is the way to go. Unfortunately, if your input sensitivity is set low to get precise control, you generally lose maneuverability and response time as a result. Movement becomes sluggish. So ideally, you want a higher sensitivity when just walking and looking around, and lower sensitivity when actually aiming and shooting. This console command does exactly that. The second number is the sensitivity set when pressing the right mouse button, and the first is the input sensitivity set when releasing it. Thus you get the best of both worlds, with the process being entirely automated. These specific numbers are my own settings, by the way. Ever wondered why all the YouTuber Rust players jump all the time? Well, I don't know why they do it, to be honest, but if you jump every few steps while running, it gives you a couple of seconds of silence where you can easily hear any footsteps around you. So think about that. Could be useful in some places. Well then. I hope this has been informative, useful, advantageous and entertaining enough for a click of the like button, which really, really helps my channel grow, and I would appreciate it eternally if you subscribe and maybe share some of my content. I have some really useful tips here and there for builders and Rust players in general, as well as some nice base builds, you can check those out too. Love you all, and see you soon with a nice fat six-man base video.